welcome back to Tomb Raider Tuesdays. I hope you all are doing very well this week so far. And if not, I hope you have a better day and a better week ahead of you. Um, so yeah, I want to apologize for being, well, I'm actually not too terribly late, but I did a bit later than I was hoping for. It's because of what I said over here. Um, you know, but anyway, uh, do I have any announcements? No. Not really, not that come to mind. So, uh, just a quick reminder, Linktree, Patreon, help me out. If not, it's your call. I won't hold it against you. Um, so yeah, let's just get back into it, shall we? For the shadow of the Tomb Raider. To embrace the world in gray. Sun will set for you. All right, anyway. So I did a little bit. Hold on, I need to actually turn down the volume a little bit because it's actually hurting my ears a little bit. I, I've, all, I've got, like, like yesterday, I think it was, I have a bit of a headache. Um, or maybe it wasn't yesterday. I have a bit of a headache again. Um, nowhere near as bad as it was, as it has been, um, in the past. But, yeah. So just a real quick, uh, I did a little itty bitty bit of grinding. This game. Whatever. Uh, this zooms in, this zooms out. I did an itty bitty bit of grinding. Um, I have completed challenges that were in the area. Stop it. Uh, just as a reminder, we can't get into the tomb yet until I have my climbing axe. Um, so yeah, we've done as much as we can here for now. All right. Ah, right. Okay. Yes, yes. I know I need to craft silent arrows. Oh, look at that water. But yeah, so the document, there's that ledge that I need to climb down, get that one document. Ah, oh, graphics are amazing. All right, we'll leave that up for now. Miguel? I don't like this. Miguel? Yep. Where are you? They're following a flare that was shot into the sky. Oh no. It's a lot of blood. Miguel? Miguel? Excuse me. Wood. Blood's going that way. Every part of the world seems to have its own mythical forest dwelling <coughs> bipedal creature. Around here, it's known as the Sissamite, the guardian of the forest. Described as large and ape-like, it's rumored to kill male humans on sight. It takes the females to its cave for mating purposes. Why is that always a part of such mythologies? Like, why? some arrows
Oh, oh. Good kitty. Good kitty. Hungry kitty. Good kitty. Oh, oh. Not alone, kitty. Be careful here. Oh shit. Damn it. Good kitty. This is what I need. Probably pissed myself a little bit. Yeah, that was very much a next time.
base. That's part of the wreckage. Jonah! Shadow of the Tomb Raider. 6th of June. Father's outward enthusiasm is at an all-time high, though I have doubts. In the middle of the night, I have caught the whites of his eyes reflecting moonlight, his stare vacantly locked to the stars. Were it not for the stories he has shared of the Amazon in the past, I would mistake his gaze as regretful, even mournful. Perhaps it is simply these insects making their way through our head nets causing him such consternation. Embrace the world, embrace. Sun will set for you. First of August. Tonight, sleep escapes us. The jungle is angry and the moon is uncooperative. The human imagination wanders endlessly in the dark this deep. I can hear the jungle's breath ruffling behind my ears, its low growl shaking the very ground we lay on, its manic energy rustling through the trees above. Rest has become the lead on our search, finding us at the most inopportune time. I have caught father dozing off mid-step, and his hand barely clutching his walking stick. We have run out of food and are sustained almost entirely by gathered berries and rainwater. The both of us are far too unyielding to give up. I fear the very stubbornness that led us to this point may also be that which leads us to our early graves. All right. I see something shiny. in gear okay
also missing gear. Okay. Okay. The plane. Jonah, are you there? Climbing axe. Jonah. I thought I got you killed. Again. Hey. Do you know what happened to Miguel? Jaguar. He didn't make it. What's wrong with your arm? Uh, some sort of parasite. I was looking for some wormwood, but it doesn't grow around here. Let me see. Oh, hey, what are you doing? If we leave it in there, it'll only get worse. Sit. Uh, you sure you know what you're doing? Uh, <laughs> I had something similar happen to me when I was a child in Egypt. I won't lie, it's gonna hurt. You think that storm from earlier was the storm? The one from the mural? I don't know. Uh, uh, I think maybe we should stop and take stock. We've been pushing so hard forward, <laughs> flying into that storm. I didn't think it was going to be that bad. I... Well, I should have insisted we turn back. I mean, I get it. You lock onto a problem and everything else just disappears. <laughs> I'm with you. It's my choice, most of the time. But if we die, who stops the cataclysms? Who keeps Trinity from doing what they want? Sometimes I feel like I have to keep going, and if I don't, then I'll just let everyone down. But maybe for the sake of a few hours. We could have turned back. <laughs> Maybe we should give him a name. Okay. Eli? Uh, my cousin. He's always trying to get under my skin. <laughs> Goodbye, Eli. I'd have, you know, thrown it a little bit further away. We should go. If we can find Kawakyaku, we can rest for the night. Sounds good. I think we can see the village through the vines over there. I'm glad you stayed at the crash site. Well, if you were out there, I wanted to be able to find you. I had a flare gun. Yeah, I think Miguel was heading toward it when...
All right, we're gonna do some backy tracky. Some good old backy tracky. How'd you uh, manage to get Eli in your arm anyway? Uh, I was trying to figure out if the water was clean. Got my answer. <laughs> do you really believe in all that stuff you said about the cataclysms, the apocalypse? I believe that if it is true, it's important enough to die for, or for Trinity to kill for. So this is really about revenge? No, no. I. When I took the key, I also felt a power pulling me towards something that's real. If you felt a power pulling you when you took the key, is it in your head now? No. It left me when Dominguez took the key. If it's that strong, how can you be sure? Let's just find Kwakiaku, okay? Okay. You know, if it was about revenge, I'd understand. <laughs> Would you, though? Wouldn't you rather be somewhere warm and dry with a beer, maybe a friendly stranger to flirt with? <laughs> yeah, I would. Like, you can't imagine. But I'd still understand. It's not revenge. Um, yeah, I'm thinking this one. Okay. How are we doing here? Okay. Alright, it wants me to go that way, but every instinct is telling me to turn back. So we're gonna turn back. Secrets revealed. All right, so that's where we're wanting to give me. That's where we're wanting to go. We came from over here. Okay, I can now go back and do this tomb. Um, stop it. You can also get that document. I'm going to. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Okay. So I want to do this crypt. Um, all right. So, yeah, we are absolutely going to do some backtracking.
door, hell yeah. Within lies Rally Rimmel, friend, 1925. There's a little more. Says beware traps ahead. I can read it. If you can't read it, Lara, then you're you're, you're blind. Come on. Beware. Traps ahead. Go. Jeez. No one's been through here in years. May Remax be the first voice we hear in the afterlife. And may her stories comfort us. This skull is deformed, flatter and longer than what we consider normal. Some people believe this is evidence the Inca were contacted by extraterrestrials, but it's more likely the result of hair binding, a human practice of deformation so ancient it predates written history. It also has evidence of trepanation, a medical procedure in which a hole is carved in the skull. So that's where we came. This way. And here I thought this would be so far. Why would it ever be?
I should be able to reach the sarcophagus now. Should. Shit, I'll have to keep climbing. The heathen emperor begged for his life to be spared. He offered the Spanish crown a room of three by six varas to be filled once over with gold and twice with silver. The crown, with great and undue benevolence, accepted this offer. Within two months, the ransom had been paid. The idolater, however, could not be trusted. When the cursed plans of his general surprise attack were exposed, Atawalpa fell to his knees, begging for mercy. His fate would be decided by fair trial as the right of any man in the Spanish Empire. He was found guilty and sentenced to die, but before the execution, he accepted the Lord and will be welcomed in the heavens above. Excerpt from an objective account of Pizarro in Peru by Ochoa Aceves. Required. The Tomb Raider will embrace the world in grace. for some backtracking. <clears throat> Assuming it will allow me to backtrack, that is. Because now that I'm thinking about it, I don't remember if it actually will let me or if I'll have to come back either from a different direction or via fast travel. Yeah, nope, that's a, that's a no way out there. All right, fine. Maybe I can fast travel from the camp by Jonah, if it'll let me. I would also very much believe that it wouldn't want me to. No. Because I believe now that I have the climbing axes, 
there's some other methods and stuff. I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to say too much in case I'm remembering wrong or there's technically spoilers and blah, 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 blah. I need a vulture. Okay, now then, let's see. Will you let me fast travel? Nope, unavailable. So yeah, I have to keep pushing on before to let me backtrack. Of course. It's fine. All right, Jonah. Sorry, I've been keeping you waiting for a bit. Hey, buddy. We can get through here. Give me a hand. One second. Stop doing this. Thing. Come on. Every damn time. Okay. All right. You see that? It must be Kwak Yaku. We have to get down there. You sure this is a path? Come on, stay close to me. This is definitely not a path. Well, when you're Lara Croft, everything's a path. Oh. Oh, God. Almost there. Almost there. Heard that before. Oh, oh gotcha. You all right? I'm okay. Just a couple more steps. Okay. Okay. You're all right. I, I, I'm okay. I'm okay. We love a badass queen. What do you think built all this? It could have been the Inca. They knew a lot about hydraulics. I hope that this structure is here because we're on our way to that door. The bridge is down. Maybe we can lift it with those counterweights. Maybe. This depicts the Incan god Kung. He was the son of Inti, the sun god, and Pachamama, the moon goddess. Kone was in charge of the wind and the rain. Although Pachamama. Some Sorry, that was probably was incredibly only in insensitive. in charge of the weather that came from the south, while his brother, Pachakamak, was in charge of weather that came from the north. I bet this water is drinkable. <laughs> you want to try it? I think I'll stick to the bottles you found in the cargo from the plane. This describes something nearby. Two serpents guard life and death. I lie trapped within their eternal struggle. Okay, so two serpents. You know, if I had known how much time I'd spent in the old place, I'd, I'd have paid more attention to wasn't your thing? Well, my family situation meant we didn't get to do a lot of stuff like that. Aw, buddy. This'll be useful. A 
monolith riches found. Hell yeah. Also, there's a thing here. Cinnabar was used in the ancient past for producing a bright orange pigmentation on ceramics, murals, tattoos, and in religious ceremonies. Cinnabar Island, where the fire gym leader lives. Sorry. What about you? you? Ever do Girl Scouts or nature camp as a kid? Mm, does boarding school count? <laughs> I don't know. Does it? <laughs> Probably not. But Roth showed me some things. I always prefer the company of adults anyway. I miss that guy. Me too. The canopa serves as a receptacle for offerings of cocoa and animal tallow. The stuffed canopa is thrown into the farmer's field at the start of the harvest season as a gift for Pachamama, the mother god. It is said, if the present is accepted, the farmer will yield large crops in a successful breeding season. Cinnabar was used in the ancient path. The canopa. This depicts the. The monogram reads August 9th. In the early. Within lies. The heathen. Cusco belongs. Cusco belongs to Hernando Pizarro rightful representative of the Spanish crown. Diego de Almagro has been captured. Rodrigo Orgones is dead, and the rest of their heretic forces routed. We made a crossing over the mountains and appeared on the coast outside of Cusco. <laughs> Orgones marched to meet us at Cachupampa, a poor choice for his cavalry. His falconets threw Gonzalo's infantry charge into disorder, but the swampy ground prevented his seasoned cavaliers from true advantage. Our Imperial Arcabuzier breached the river and unleashed hellfire on the opposition. Pizarro and Orgones led their respective cavalries, each merging to a single charging column, all of the men yelling, and met at full gallop. I had never seen such a thing. Somewhere in the chaos of battle, Orgones was shot and unhorsed and killed. They say the coward Almagro retreated from the battlefield atop an ass. Fitting. Ex- this mural, the pre-Columbian ceramic, those worthy shall be sacrificed to the red goddess, she of the waning moon, and sh a secondary party. This Sorry, is I'm the just making sure I didn't miss any. Every part of the world seems to have this. Okay, we saw that. 30th, 6th of June, 1st. Okay, so no, we didn't miss anything. All right. All right. Heal point. All With right, so we've got gone, this thing. Your arm should heal quickly. Yeah, I feel a lot better already. Hey. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. All right. <clears throat> Let's see what happens. That did something. I think the water powers the bridge somehow. Yeah, it's called hydraulic. It's too heavy. Give me a hand. The water's filling the bucket. Good. Let's see what those counterweights do. Need to get the water flowing to the bucket. Oh, the bucket's leaking. Need to get the water flowing to the bucket. Yes, yes. I need to figure out where I need to place the that plug though. Not plug, the um arrow. I 
think I saw a rope coil on the bridge. I can't hold this much longer. Need to get the water flowing to the bucket. Yes, 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 yes. I forgot there was a second layer down here. Need to get the water flowing All right. into the bucket. All right, I'll get back to you in a second, uh, Jonah. All right, all right, all right. Need all right, I know where to go. Need to get the water flowing to the bucket. Yes, 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 yes. Impatient lady. Impatient woman. Guess we go through here. After you. What's that? I think it's some sort of stealer or... Help me with this. Sure. What is it? It's a recipe. Seems to be a mixture of herbs. Could help if we run into any more jaguars. <laughs> Let's hope we don't. Way out is over here. The Eye of the Eagle. Press F4 to use the perception herbal mixture. Perception allows Lara to sense animals and natural resources throughout the environment. We're getting closer to the village. I can't wait to get back to civilization. These are different from the ruins in Mexico. <laughs> Did your dad's notebook say anything about Peru? No. I mean, there is supposed to be a secret city of gold in Peru. Paititi. Every treasure hunter on Earth is looking for it. But dad's notes stop in Mexico. Like he lost interest or... Or? I don't know. The next volume picks up in Syria. And Syria was where That's promising. was what started the last game. Chase the heart of the serpent. To the silver-crowned mountain where the twins confer. These two gods are the rulers of the Maya underworld, Shabalba, literally the place of fright. Bukub Kakwish, whose name means Seven Macaw, was a monstrous bird who was said to carry the false sun in his beak. His subordinate was Hunkame, which means one death. They are both defeated and killed by the hero twins after challenging them to various sports and games in which both sides cheated. Bukub Kakwish lost his game of darts when the hero twins used blowpipes. Hmm. 
Moral of the story, it's okay to cheat. Assuming we're going the right way, mm, hard to say. But the irrigation system is a good sign. Right. People were here at some point. Let's just hope they still are. Pistol parts. Whatever weapon these were attached to has rusted away in the jungle's humidity. There's something etched on them. Can barely make it out. Difficulties be damned. E.H. Fawcett. Lieutenant Colonel. Oh, come on, Laura. <laughs> P.H. Percy Fawcett. But we must be thousands of kilometers from his last known position. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I was debating between these two before. Um Excuse me. Increase speed when swimming. Form a stealth kill takedown without alerting nearby enemies. Might need that soon. Uh, never slip when grabbing ledges. More reaction time for traps and grappling enemies. Damage when falling from heights. I'm gonna go with this one. Found something. There might be a way in. If it's not civilization, find anything. Roots and ruins. Ready to head out then? Let's go. No. Nope. Hmm. Excuse me. I'll have to climb to make it across. 
What else is new? <laughs> I'll have to climb to make it across. Yep, and? Like every other game? Every other adventure you've had? No. Yeah, I know how to do this game. You can stop giving me these tutorials. This gear is early 20th century. That starch shirt Forset may be getting all the attention, but I know his time is almost up. The world will remember the Timothy Walker as the man who finally found the lost city of El Dorado. We've set up camp in a canyon. It was a grueling journey to get this far. We'll rest here a few days, get our bearings. Some of the men need patching up, and I wouldn't mind one good night's sleep. The men say something came through the camp last night. The jungle is getting to them. I keep telling them that we're close and we need to keep it together. One of the scouts has found a temple of some kind up ahead. We'll start construction of bridges and ladders this morning and head out from camp this afternoon. That was weird. This gear is early 20th century.
like this might be the way out okay so this might be the way out so then other way is the way deeper I miss it. and Jonah waits forever at the campfire I'm a horrible person Am I not fast enough? <laughs> grapple axe, grapple axe, does whatever a grapple axe does. Misses hard every time. While jumping to swing across gaps. Okay, I was just not getting the timing right. Okay, fine. Fine. I'll accept that. Damn this place. Damn this forsaken jungle. It holds a jewel just out of reach and then sweeps your legs out from under you. We've almost made it across that bottomless pit. Some kind of altar beckons from the other side, under a giant stone face that seems to mock our efforts. Something attacked the camp. Some men claimed it was panthers. Others said something more sinister. Half the crew insist on abandoning the expedition. I had to dress one man down, made an example of him. All I need is one more day, one more lousy day. Find a way across the snow tay. Hmm. Have to find a way across the snow tay. I'm working on it, lady. Have abandoned this place. Have to find a way across the cenote. Girl, you were just saying something and then you interrupted yourself. Have to find a way across the cenote. Across 
across the salute. be a climbing path somewhere to reach the altar. There must be a climbing path somewhere to reach the altar. Here, under the watchful eye of one of the Lords of Death, lies the gate to Shabalba, where all must travel when transitioning from this life to the next. missed that with how that rope glitches out because of the frame rate I'm at. I think it's because of the frame rate. Really does feel like something's attacking us. I don't remember if there is somebody pushing and trying to activate booby traps or shit or not. skills tra to traverse the environment with more speed okay That's the way forward. This was the way back.
find anything? Another of those Maya altars, and... And what? An old camp, gone to ruin. We should keep going. Right. Alright, um... Jumps, landing, and falls. How will we know when we're back on track to find the hidden city? My yeah. ruins are bound to stand out, right? Right. Okay. Alright, so this way. I think we can get out that way. Jonah, help me with this. In three, two, one. Far away, okay. Poor kitty. She's barely okay. Look at her back. Your back looks bad. I'm gonna go make camp.
me take a look at that. It's not pretty. <laughs> you know, with everything we've been through recently, I've been thinking about my brother. I always try to protect him from my father, from himself, but I lost him. You did everything you could. If I had been in the right place, the right time, he would still be here. I had eyes in the back of my head. You can't protect everyone. Thank you. I miss him. I know. My parents. I miss them too. I had a dream about my mother recently. Yeah? Mm-hmm. It was so vivid. <laughs> when I was little, my father used to keep things from me. Hide things. About her, especially. Why would he do that? After she died, he thought they'd cause me pain. It didn't stop me from looking for them, of course. <laughs> Dad created as many mysteries as he solved. Dominguez said that he would use the silver box of Isha to remake the world. If you had that power, what would you do? <laughs> Panic, probably. <laughs> You wouldn't go back to when your brother was alive and be with him again. Uh, I lose everything else. No way. I like this world. It's, it's not perfect. But everything I love now is in it. treasure the adventurer Lara Croft must outwit the king reach the forbidden tomb and solve the mystery of the white queen the way will be fraught with trials the adventurer should not dally any longer in a minute dad and here we are back at Croft Manor <clears throat> and now to determine if it's if I if it's actually how I remember the it being. Walls of the castle beckon, taunting. All right. Oh, look at this tea set. Oh. You got a little red wagon, wagon, wagon. Little sword and shield and <laughs> strange Damn. beasts cross our hero's path. Hard to tell if they're bloodthirsty. She says of uh bunnies. The 
This looks like a figure from that game Mum and Dad used to play. But why is it out here, in the playground? Chess. There's an A scratched in the bottom, for Amelia. Mm. I miss you, Mum. Letter from Dad to Winston. I have thought about it many times, and I'm still adamant that Lara be spared from this terrible grief, as you call it. Having her constantly thinking about her mother will only be more painful. It is better for her to be a child and not be burdened by such heavy thoughts. If you do not desist in this campaign of yours, I will not hesitate to terminate your employment at Croft Manor. Be nice to Winston, Richard. Good old dick. The excavation will soon reveal the secrets of this site. taken our hero years to piece this map together, spending nights in dusty libraries going through ancient tomes, exploring sunken ships, stripped of treasure, and chasing down any lead, no matter how faint it may be. If she can recover the treasure, our brave adventurer may prove herself worthy of becoming Lord Richard Croft's assistant. Oh, bless her. They built her such an incredible Amazing. fucking. Croft has entered a burial chamber that has not been disturbed in millennia. They built her such an amazing playground. Sword in the ground. Hero will need a bullseye to weigh down that basket. Forbidden tomb calls out. The treasure is revealed. I think this is from when we walked the El Mensha. I don't remember oh. much, except for how spicy the bazaar smelled. Mom looks so happy. So does Dad. It's not fair. 
Why did she have to die? Unfortunately, it's never fair. <laughs> Lara climbs out over a lake of bubbling lava. White Queen, locked away, but not forgotten. Just so many toy swords around. So many toy swords. Turbo. you to fly off a cart at 100 paces. Deadly accurate, for the most part. You know, I'd kind of just love a whole game of just Lara being a child. The floor gives way. Lara tumbles into the darkness. Fresh graves. The king does not take kindly to trespassers. Castle gates are well guarded. There's a reason our hero doesn't use the front door. Aww. What was it, Doctor? Carnations first appeared where the Virgin Mary's tears fell. A letter from Winston to Dad. Sir, I understand that these last few years have been more than difficult for you. We all miss Amelia terribly. However, I worry Lara has begun to forget what little she knew about her mother. A terrible thing. I realize it is not my place to pry, but have you reconsidered talking to her about Amelia? My belief is that it would help you get over your tremendous grief and bring you two closer.
So we have this wall. Now for the real treasure in the forbidden tomb. Our hero must be quiet to avoid alerting the king. All right, so three floors. What does Lara have to do with any of this? She's in her room doing her homework. I mean, she hasn't she's much not. Time. Now, assuming he's in, he's either in the library or his office. Looking, looking in the windows, I think that might be his office. So I think, okay, so if I'm getting my geometry correct for the, like with the previous game and stuff, uh, that's his, that's his desk that she uses over there somewhere on the left of the wall. I'm pointing with my hand. I should just be using my mouse. Uh, over here on the left, there should be, uh, is where the safe was. And then straight ahead is the door to the hallway where to the left is a turn to the library, which means that those windows should be to the library. And they kind of look like they might be. The King's Guard will never expect Croft to climb the castle. Girl, I swear to God, if you fall to your death. If her dad or Winston ever found out Castle about this, Tower. they would be furious. It's taller than she thought. They would be furious with her and terrified. Through that window. Maybe servants' quarters? Our hero continues climbing, looking for another way in. Hero spies another entrance. Okay, so her dad's office was a floor down with his window over there and this way. Um, which means that Shoot, go on. Hold on, hold on, I'll be right back. don't know me very well uh i dabble in sketching and drawing um i'm not as good as i would personally prefer i be so i'm not going to actually show you much of my actual work <sighs> god the cringe as i'm flipping through um the uh 
Where is it? Back in the day, I had when I first when I first played the previous game, the Rise of the Tomb Raider. I had I was so okay. So one of the I think I've said it before, but one of my favorite absolute favorite things in Tomb Raider is the manor. Tomb Raider. Um, wow, I forgot I dropped, drew that. Been better, but it's not bad comparatively. Uh, usually, usually with my art, I'm better when I have a reference, something that I can look at and then transfer to sheet, as opposed to trying to draw fresh straight from my brain. Um, but anyway. The, um... The, but the, um... One of my favorite things has been, and always will be, Croft Manor. Ah, there we go. Oh, I kept them on loose leaf. That would be why. I couldn't find them. All right. Um, and I adore every iteration of the manor, of Croft Manor, and, but something about the way they presented the manor in the second game, all run down and decrepit like it was. Something about that really hit different. Um, and, um, that led me to actually sketch out the floor plan, trying to get a better idea of how all the space worked and empty rooms and whatnot. Um, for example, uh, let's see, will it show up? Hold on. Well, let me swap to this. Hold on, I'm gonna have to turn off my ring cam. Or ring light. Uh, so, yeah, see? Um, over here is the office, over here is the library, over here is the master bedroom and the, the atelier that were locked off in the west wing. Um, went down to the first floor and the cellar, complete with the crawl space and everything. Um, and... And something that I don't recall if I ever did, um, or if I, um, or if I did, I don't remember what I determined, but, um, <clears throat> I'm going to, uh, do it now. I don't remember if I did it or not. But I'm going to uh, quickly. All right. So she was. Uh, she had climbed up the garden. I forget what that's all called. Hedge, not just not hedges. Um, God, I forget what all that's all that called. Fencing type stuff. Uh, and gotten out to the second floor outside of her father's study, where she. Hold on. Stop. Stop moving, Lara. But she then walked past. Hold on, can I just reload checkpoint? I wonder where this would, where the checkpoint will put me. Okay, it'll just put me back here. <laughs> okay. So, um, she is above the.
fence that was over here. Okay. So. God, can I just like reset this whole section? I wish. I wish I could just like reset memory like you can in Assassin's Creed. Oh man. Okay. Um. God, I'm gonna hyper fixate on this for a second. Bear with me, please. Oh, one of them. Crash. There we go. Uh, also, let me swap back to this so that you guys aren't staring at just my my big old face uh, the whole time. Um. All right. So. Oh. Uh, um. Mm -hmm. You know what? I'm fucking recording this. <laughs> you know what? I'm fucking recording this. I'm streaming this. I'll fucking worry about this on my own time. Don't worry about it. All right. Anyway. And we'll t and we'll determine my findings Jeez, else and at another time. Cuz you know, playing the damn game is much more important <laughs> than my bullshit. Young Lara confronts the extraordinary height danger and pushes it from her mind <laughs> huh is that a yeah there's a fuse box just right up there on the edge of the building i mean fair where else are you gonna put it on an ancient building like that the repairs this child okay how has this house's staff not fucking Invest started decided to investigate. Like, why is Winston not investigating? And why is her dad not investigating? Because that was noticeable. And her goal. Now onward to the forbidden tomb. These parapets are damaged. She'll have to squeeze through. Parapet. All right. She's so close, she can almost touch it. But an invisible force field stands in her way. There must be another entrance. <laughs> Our fearless adventurer has reached the summit. Okay, so real quick, let's look around here. So there's no, that's not the, there's no way that's the front of the building. Maybe it is. We are approximately, stop, stop it. We are approximately above where her dad's office was. Girl, I swear to God. Like we climbed up the thing. I think her dad's office is more on like where that bit juts out there and goes to the left. Um, it it's down there. So I think that's where the wall is for this room, which means that this is technically the li a, a third story to the library. Now that is all assuming that this isn't on the west side of the manor, of course. Um. Interesting. Okay. At last, she spots a way in below. She will have to be careful.
this child, man. Why do I do these stupid things? Why? Why do you? Wow, she fell like a story and a half, basically. All right. Um, so now this looks like what I would call maybe like the back backyard of sorts. Like the backgrounds, maybe, maybe the front entrance. Depends on which side is front and which side is back, you know? Um, anyway, she's on the second floor again. Um, and she's, if I'm right, she's somewhere around here. Actually, she's probably closer. She's probably over here. Okay. Ah, my nose. Okay. Um... Yeah, this is definitely not. So he ordered the West Wing sealed. Which, if I'm right, that's the West Wing over there. And not the East. Well, wait, hold on. So, like, okay, it depends on the overall shape of the house, because we've never actually seen the full shape of the house. If it's like an H-ish shape where it's got two wings and then a that are connected horizontally um then we might be at the west wing in which case all of this hypothesizing is moot but if this is similar in design to the to the croft manor from uh legend and anniversary um then it's going to be a bit more like half of an H, sort of, with a little bit of an H to it. Um, and then these are the back aspects of it. So like... So like... Um, Yeah, basically, if I'm right, uh, and this is like the Croft Manor that uh, that's in Legend and Anniversary, then uh, we are in the back of the building. But if we, in which case, we might actually be on the west, in the West Hall end of it. Um, but if I'm right, but if I'm wrong, then maybe we are at the front. No, sorry, east side of it, then west. I don't know, you guys don't really care that much. I do, but you guys don't. I wish I had saved a separate file at the start of the thing. Oh well, I keep meaning to do that. Anyway, if, if I'm right, basically, this door leads out into the hallway of the east wing which then to the right over there is the main hall and then down here under the ground down there is where that crypt cri crypt is uh underground so um yeah the front door would be that side of the building if i'm right this yeah which would mean that's the west, this is the east. That's north. 
up in that south. Um, the west. But anyway. But yeah, that's if I'm right. If I'm right, this door goes into the east wing. And uh, then she turns to the right and it would take her to the main hall. Or to the left and it would take her to her dad's study. And then if she went to the left and then to the right, that would take her to the library that she went to in the previous game. And near-ish this area is where she was set up in with her little laptop in front of that fireplace with the the not working fireplace with the heater um but anyway um at last she enters the forbidden tomb wow yeah this Night, the great bat stole the queen at 30 north and 90 east. From her pen, she wrote her heart. With light, unlock her love's release. I wonder if the white queen is lonely. Raven Petra, I find the white queen. have something to do with the glow. The head of King David. From a shepherd to a king. Imagine that. This enigmatic illustration recovered from a cursed and empty mausoleum might be what our brave adventurer needs to finally find the lost treasure, the White Queen. She's managed to decipher the ancient text and has found a series of clues. A set of coordinates, a giant bat, and a series of game pieces in a line. The intrepid Lara will have to figure out what they all mean. The cup of St. John, the apostle had been given a chalice of poisoned wine, but after his blessing, the poison transformed into a snake, and he drank the wine unharmed. The coordinates Actually, might that's have something that to do with the glow. This is an old game. Two shields and a white crown. Could that be the white queen? Reminds me of nine, like nine men's more is from um, Assassin's the Creed. Might have something to do with the glow. Yes, child. Yes, I am right there with you. I'm just give me a second to explore, please. A quotation from Chaucer What is better than wisdom? Woman. What is better than a good woman? Nothing. I mean, Chaucer knew what he was talking a about, in my experience. From Chaucer. What the coordinates might have something to do with the glow. Mid 14th century barding. Germanic, I think. I can't imagine how heavy those bardings were. Those poor horses. The coordinates might have something to do with the glow. I bet the poor thing could hardly see out of that chanfron. That was kind of the point. The horse couldn't see, so it wouldn't spook and run. The king and the white queen. There's something in the shields. The coordinates might have something to do with the glow. Yes, child. Yes, child. The poor queen, Maria Theresa, died a painful death, to which the king said, This is the first trouble she has given me. <laughs> Aww. The sun king, Louis XIV, married Maria Theresa, ending a long-standing war between France and Spain. The coordinates might have something to do with the glow. A Byzantine scroll. Justice is the constant and perpetual wish to render everyone his due. Emperor Justinian. This is Egyptian, an evil eye box. The contents were meant to help sustain and provide for people in the afterlife. The coordinates might have something to do with the glow. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, fine. It was 30 by 90. The 
Let's try this one first. This enigmatic illustration. Thirty north, ninety east. So ninety east is this way. God, this globe is slow. Like I get it, it's big and it's old, but still. I see 90. 90 inbound. 60. 75. 80. 90. This is the 35 or 30? Just 30. Okay. Oh, wait. That's south. We want north, which is this way. That is on the. Yeah, that's. Come on. That's India. So that's somewhere off the co the Asian coast. Um. I think I see Korea. So yeah, it's somewhere. East Asian. I can find out. What am I doing? Uh, 30 degrees north. Ninety degrees east. Finding the latitude and longitude coordinates 30 degrees north by 90 degrees east specifies the location on the Earth's surface that is 30 degrees north. Yeah, 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 yeah. This location can be found in parts of Asia, including uh, countries like India, Nepal, and Bhutan. I wonder if it's where she died, because I don't remember where Lara, not Lara, where Amelia's plane went down. But it was somewhere where she froze to death. To find the White Queen. We're on it. Okay. Now then. Okay. So, shield, shield, queen. We need to get these two shields like, around the queen. Oh, a ladder. I missed that. Or forgot about it by the time that I actually decided to move on. Croft has entered the forbidden mezzanine. She'll have to be careful. Need to find the White Queen. I just wanted to thank you for your discretion, as well as the work you have done. The vault has been constructed exactly to my specifications. The final payment will be sent at the end of the week. The delay was due to an accounting error, which has now been rectified. Yours, Richard Croft. Aww. A baby Tyrannosaurus Rex. A baby Tyrannus. Alright. Taurus Rex. I wonder if it lost its mother too. A Yatiri. A South American healer. Need to find the White Queen. Yes, yes. Croft Private Collection. No matter where you stand, these masks seem to stare at you. Animal skulls, an omen of death, and symbols of great change. I haven't seen some of these artifacts before. 
this that's my end. Is it Cuckoo Cunt? I wonder who those two dogs are. This is from Colombia, a Xeno chieftain mask. I wonder if these eyes have seen El Dorado. Need to find the White Queen. An ossuary. This box contains the bones of the dead. I can't read the inscription. Need to find the White Queen. This is the kind of armour that the Conquistadors wore during the Age of Discovery. I wonder what they found? Murder, mostly. A statue of an Ariki from the Cook Islands. Need to find the White Queen. 25th Dynasty. The interior of the sarcophagus is incredibly intricate. Need to find the White Queen. This looks... Greek? No, Persian. I wonder what she's guarding. Hmm. A Persian lioness. But someone stole her head. I wonder what she was looking at. The death mask of Agamemnon, found in Mycenae. An African tribal mask, made of gold. Ashanti, perhaps. Need to find the White Queen. Kind of glad Yvonne's not here. She would be cringing at pronunciations, probably. Shield reflects a light beam. She is the White Queen. Trapped. I have to. I have to help her. Now I can free her with light. Unlock her love's release. Our hero crosses the threshold into the unknown. These are Mum's things. The path was dark and is guarded by bats, said the Red Knight. The White 
queen regarded him with a curious smile and said, Bats! I'm not afraid of bats. I'm not afraid of anything. Tell me about this. You and me are riding a T-Rex in Egypt. Where's Daddy? At work. with what you have. So, uh, Silver Crown Mountain? Yeah.
be in a second, in my, uh, Jonah. <clears throat> Yeah, see, we're not that far from where the, uh, where the plane went down. Like, she found the, her bow over here, and then came over here. This is where she encountered the jaguar. The jaguar. Um, this is where she found Elijah. Why do I keep trying to call him Elijah? Jonah. And then over here is where... We were just at, and then, yeah. yeah. All right, let's go. This camera belongs to the X700 line. Sam had one of those. I was so jealous. It's just the thing you'd want for an expedition to find a lost monument or civilization. This is proof that there were people coming here as recently as the 1980s. Even when modernity scoffs at them, some legends still manage to inspire people. The lens is cracked. Almost looks as though it was hit by a projectile of some type. I'll be right back after an the bath. Oh, I'm, I walked right past this. Let me go grab that. Come to here. Then grab land. Here, swing. Land. Right here.
All right. Now. Um. Go grab these. Come on, button. There we go. Oh, shoot. I'm an idiot and push the wrong thing. Oh, I can fast travel now. Yay. Doesn't exactly help me now, does it? Lara. Lara. Child. <laughs> that was uncalled for. There you go. Now drop and grab. Jesus Christ. My dear Nina, once again the attempt to write is fraught with difficulty. However, those flies and bees and bugs galore that I wrote of before, all of those pinhead-sized stinging horrors, would have been a welcome attrition now that I faced down tooth and claw. I fought bravely, but the confrontation did not go in my favor. I will spare you the details out of compassion and not egotism. My wounds have been packed with yarrow and a stable, but I can feel infection in the blood. If you are reading this, then you know I have not survived this place. I instructed Jack not to go on. We lost young Rimmel a few weeks ago. This place, Nina, is not meant for the likes of men, and I will not rob you of a son as I have a husband. I'm tired now. Jack is sleeping by the fire, and I am certain that when he awakes, I will have slipped into my own slumber. I love you, Nina. Good night, Percy. I need a lockpick. Laura, Laura, I was hammering that button. Oh, well, that works.
Uh, right. The, the tomb. A depiction of a pook, god of death and ruler of Mitnau, the ninth and most horrible level of the Maya version of hell. One thing a pook enjoyed doing was dressing in putrefying flesh and visiting the surface to prey upon the living. According to legend, the only way to save yourself from him was to scream and yell like you were in unbearable agony. He'd assume you were already being tortured by one of his minions and leave you alone. How appropriate that his harbinger demon was a screech owl named Muon. I need to lift the statue somehow. I need to lift the statue somehow. Be patient, child. I'm getting there. This might represent one of the lords of Shabalba. A new base camp discovered. Oh, wait. I remember something I was going to do. Hold on. Give me that back. Inventory. Come on. Okay, I was going to just actually that. Question is, ah, uh, yep, see, they, oh, let's jam her up against the spot where we can get a good look. Yeah. Yeah, they repaired her top. Or she had a backup, regardless. <clears throat> regardless, they want you to not have to worry about whether or not it's actually ripped by wearing this gear. Which she was making as it happened, so. All right.
Hmm. Ah, there we go. Just had to find the right ledge. Nope, wrong button. Or too soon, I guess. Those charged with crimes are brought here, and they battle under the watchful gaze of the gods, the only infallible judges. Those what? proven innocent may leave, but the guilty are killed and thrown to Shabalba. Amazing. Is this a pocket top court? We need to raise that ladder somehow. Yes, Lara. Yes, Lara. This could be the way out. Need to raise that ladder somehow. that ladder somehow. And in the moment the gods were satisfied Matt now did not kill his wife, a pelican landed at the accused's feet. This stunned those in attendance. This was a seabird, hardly ever seen this far inland. The representatives of the gods decided to see what the bird meant to do. It circled Metnal, flapping its wings and squawking softly, and then it opened its mouth and a half-eaten fish landed at Metnal's feet. This was understood by all as a sign of Metnal's guilt, and he was quickly executed. Hmm. A secondary party, a few days behind the main pilgrimage, reported straight. Do much until I get that ladder raised. Thank you, thank you for the follow. Have to Welcome. Yes, Lara, I hear you, Lara. How are you doing? Unlock the counterweight on the left side of the monument. You could just chill for a bit. I'll need to deal with the carts now. 
to deal with the carts now. I'll need to deal with the carts now. 23rd of May. Over a month has passed since our expedition departed from Cuiaba. We have consumed our provisions methodically thus far and continue to be in high spirits. Father's age shows and we're on foot. A few times now I have caught Rally looking over his shoulder and back at us to make sure we're still keeping up. Father always returns a look with a smile and saying he'll soon be the one in the lead. Okay, so that's not supposed to go there, then. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. <laughs> Need to raise the ladder. Yes, yes, I'm on it, Lara. Shit, the rope snapped. No, it didn't. Oh, that rope snapped. Got it. That that kind of makes sense, yes. Alright, now. I'm assuming. Oh, 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 oh. Yes, I can. Alright, cool. Now. I do this. Should be able to raise the ladder completely. Yes, I'm on it. I can remember how to get over to it. Yes, right over here. Should be able to That's raise the way the out. Completely. Now, grab and pull. There. Hope this ladder isn't as rotten as it looks. 
Oh, it absolutely. Knowing your luck, Lara, it absolutely is. Lara. 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 My dear. Grab the damn. Lara. Grab. Grab the ladder. Woman. Child. Bean. Person. There you go. All right, well, it is 10 o'clock, so uh, we're gonna wrap this up shortly for the night. Uh, tomorrow we'll be continuing uh, our play, my first ever playthrough of Spyro the Dragon. Um, <clears throat> and I am excited as fuck for that. Um, that'll be tomorrow at 7 p.m. Central. Uh, we we'll, we will be continuing Spyro. Um, same bat time, same bat channel, basically. I'll take that. All right. Oh, and some feather, please. All right, and that. All right, um, before we head out, you should absolutely check out th some of these people who I have listed at the top of the screen. Um, I have even more recommendations in the link tree down at the bottom of the screen, listed at the, listed at the bottom of the screen. Um, and also in that link tree, you'll find links to my socials, <clears throat> my discord, my, uh, YouTube, where you can catch, where you can catch all my other, uh, my all my past streams and all my future streams and everything um yeah you can catch all of that uh there in the link tree but also in the link tree you'll find links to my uh fuck stop uh links to my uh throne wish list and my patreon where you can support me directly uh if you so choose and if not that's okay i won't hold it against you um but yeah that's once again there's my link tree right on screen um quickly decide where i want to put the skill points Um, hmm. okay, that requires two. That's two. That's two. Thinking either that one or the uh, that one. Hmm. Hmm. Holding charged shots. No, uh, we'll do. We'll do this one. All right. So yeah, 
like I said, absolutely check out the link tree on the screen and the Patreon as well, as well as these amazing people I have listed up here. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, like I said already, we'll be back tomorrow with uh, Spyro the Dragon. I'm really enjoying that game so far. Um, it's so much fun and it's, it's just a good old time. Um, and uh, yeah then uh yeah so until then remember to have empathy be kind be safe love yourselves and love everyone around you and i'll see you all next time i love you all peace out